All right, so here is one more update. This is the Jelly Bro Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM. Here is an updated look at it. Sorry, I haven't really been making a lot of videos lately. I've been getting ready for school, which I go back tomorrow. So, let's take a look at Jelly Bro. Just like the AOKP ROMs, you get the Cyanogen Mod statistics. You can turn those on or off. It depends on if you want to have those on or not. So you have to turn on the brightness control with sliding your finger, I guess. Alright, let's go to the apps. Let's see what kind of apps come included. With Cyanogen Mod, just like in Cyanogen Mod 9, you get Apollo Music Player. <coughs> hmm. You get TSP Manager. You get a file manager. You get ROM manager. You get super user. I prefer super user instead of super SU, but it, you know, it's just preference. And terminal emulator. So you get a lot more apps with this ROM than you do with like AOKP stuff like that. Let's go down to about phone. You can also view a change log, so that's pretty cool. It gives you a list of devices that he supports for this which is a lot so in case you're wondering what kind of devices you know he uh, supports you can go down this list so there you go so let's just go back you can see android 4.1.1 this is the gsm galaxy nexus but i believe it's also available for sprint so i believe it's if, if not the Sprint one, it, it is available for the Verizon one. It does have the Fitznugly kernel, signage mod. See, signage mod version 8.13. So this is just an update video. You can go in here and you can change the uh, CPU maximum and minimum. You can go up to 1.3 gigahertz. Let's go up. You do get the signage and mod profiles, so you can have custom profiles for home, night, work, stuff like that, which I actually find really useful. That's kind of what you get in um, Tasker, a little bit kind of like that. On the display, you can mess with some color multipliers. I don't really mess with these because I don't know what I'm doing with that. Instead of messing up my entire phone, I just leave that alone. So, If you use a, the Trebuchet launcher, as you can see, it's 0.2. That's because this is the CM10 launcher instead of the CM9. That was 0 0.1. So let's go to home screen. You can change grid size, home screens, defaults. You can have the search bar on and off. Resize any widget. Scroll, show page, dock divider, stuff like that. Let's go into the drawer. Fade indicator, show page indicator, and you can join the app drawer with the widgets. Let's go to the dock. Okay, so those settings aren't there. Icons, not there. Let's go to general. Auto rotate screen. Let's go back. Check out lock screen. You do, you do have face unlock on this. In case you were wondering. Let's get this kind of centered. Alright, so on the lock screen, you get a lot of. You can have a custom background on the lock screen. You can have it vibrate when unlocking if you wanted to. Battery status. You can have only when charging or always on. So. As you can see right there, it says discharging. You can have owner info. So if you wanted to put mine, mine, you use this phone, I'm going to punch you in the face. Something like that. Let's lock it and unlock it. And it should. So it should show up on the lock screen, unless that's a bug. Alright, so it is, that's not showing up on the lock screen. Let's move on. You can display weather. Change the interval. You can have update. Metric is Celsius. Many people do not know this, but that is Celsius. Uncheck if you want in Fahrenheit. I unclick the timestamp. And this is the weather. Should be. There we go. I had to update for a second there. So there we go. See 91 degrees Fahrenheit because I unchecked the metric. Middleburg. I like the weather in AOKP a little bit more. I mean, it, it just looks a little bit better. You can have your calendar on the home screen. 
and you can also choose the shortcuts. This is what I miss in AOKP Jelly Bean builds by him, is that you can't customize your shortcuts. So if you want music over here, and then Twitter over here, you, you can have that. You can't have that in like the AOKP builds yet, but it should be coming. You have the theme chooser, which has come with a lot of ROMs now. Now let's go to system, status bar. You can have right clock, or center clock, or do not show. You can also have AM, PM. You can't have the day of the week. That's what I also like about AOKP is the day of the week. Because without having to pull this down and look, see that it says one day, it'd be right there. Um, battery icon. You can have hidden percentage or icon. Signal. You can have the text. Or I, I just use icon. And then show no notification account. Brightness control is... It's not working. It was working in a previous build. I'm not sure why it's not working in this one. In here, in the notification drawer, you can change your widgets at the top. So if you want your mobile data, LED flashlight still isn't working. Um, so if you wanted that in, say, orientation, they would all be up there. You can also change the order. So you can put those in whatever order you prefer. You can have haptic feedback on and off. Oops, went back too much. Let's, you can have a custom wallpaper. Actually not. I think that's only only AOKP that has the custom wallpaper on the pull down notification. Power menu screenshot, that's when you press and hold power. You see screenshot right there. And navigation bar. So this is new to Sign Engine Mod. You can actually customize your navigation bar. So to begin editing, tap the lock icon, tap any button to assign or change. Whoa. So let's go to add um, menu. So that's actually really, then you unlock it and bam. <laughs> bam. That's actually really easy. See, oops. You can long press on it to remove these around. I like that. This is new. I'm, haven't really used this in a uh, CM. I don't think CM's ever had this. Can you remove the little mini button? Okay, so you you can't move the little button, but I haven't seen that in um, Signage Mod yet. That's actually really cool. Also, Signage Mod does include their own custom ringtones. In case you were wondering. So. That's something that AOKP does not do, is include their own custom uh, ringtones. Here are some wallpapers. Oh, it's bright. So, I mean, they don't have, like, a lot in, like, really awesome-looking ones like AOKP, but Cyanogen Mod is still one of, like, a really awesome ROM. Let's show you guys how to install this. Hit Reboot, Recovery, not Bootloader. Recovery. Um, the main reason that I use a AOK, his AOKP builds instead of his CM10 builds is for the tweaks. But I'm going to start using JB Sorcery because that ROM just looks awesome. But Signage Mod is like the ROM that I have always used on like my HTC Sensation and other devices. So you go to Wipe Data Factory Set, go to Yes. You're going to go down to wipe cache. You're going to hit yes. You're going to go to advance. You're going to go to wipe Dalvik. And you're going to hit yes on wipe Dalvik. Then you're going to go back. Install zip. Choose zip. Go down to the folder where you uh, put these. I put it in my download so you can see. Slash download. And then find the uh, ROM. CM-10-2012-08-13 for the 813 2012 build. And then... You're just going to hit install. Then you're just going to choose zip. Go to download. Go to your Jelly Bean G apps. And you're going to click yes to install those as well. And then you're just going to go back. And I'll show you guys the boot animation. One of the coolest boot animations I've seen is on the JB Sorcery ROM. I think that has a pretty awesome looking boot animation. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really prefer 
Whoa, can't really. I don't really prefer this boot animation, but you may like it. It's just preference. You see it boots up really fast, so. Let's go to unlock it. I'm gonna have to fix that search button. It looks weird over there. <laughs> and that was my review of the Sign Engine Mod 10 Jelly Bro ROM. This is from the same people that make the AOKP Euroskink ROM, in case you were wondering. But that was my review for the GSM Galaxy Nexus. I get my case from Cruiserlight. I've won this from Just Reboot on Twitter. You should follow him. But I bought my other one from Cruiserlight. They're only $9. Worth it. You should pick one up. But anyways, that was my review.